Halloween in a couple of weeks and what I'm about to show you is a really quick and easy zombie makeup. Okay, so the products that you're going to need are face paints. You need um, white, black, red and a little bit of green and brown. Fake blood. Um, this one I've kind of watered down a little bit and put into um, a spray bottle. You can get these ones from Boots. So. Paint brushes. I just get a selection really of um, different shapes and sizes so you can use um, bigger ones for the whole face and then smaller ones for detail. Um, a bowl of water just for mixing your brushes and using with the face paint. And different shapes and sizes of sponges, this is to sort of create texture on the skin. So we're going to start with a white face paint as your base. Um, now I don't want this all over the face because I think it looks kind of a little bit old school. Um, so we're going to keep it to the areas of contour or highlight, should I say. So that's your cheekbones around your kind of um, eyebrows here um, and down the centre of your nose and you really get that zombie shape if you could just stick to these areas and kind of blend it out so just with your brushes kind of go all over the cheekbone kind of into your temple here and on the other side do the same And if you want, you can take it down the neck, but I'm just going to do the face just to show you guys. And then blend it out with a dry brush. I like using two brushes because you can kind of put the product on with one and then blend with the other. So areas like the eyebrows, you can just go over with a really small brush and just focus the product on it and just keep building up um, layers. So what I'm doing now is just going over the areas that I want slightly more concentrated in terms of the impact of the white. So that's kind of like around the eyebrows and the cheek area. And I'm almost using the product dry because you get like a real intense white then. Okay, now we're ready for the shadow. So using sort of a foundation brush, I'm using like a flat one here, we're going to contour um, round the face and um, I'm using a brown this time because um, the black we want to use for like the really intense bits and if you use a brown it kind of looks a little bit more natural so get your wet brush and we're going to start by doing the cheekbones so find where your cheekbone is and kind of go underneath it there if it helps do the fish face and then using a dry brush just blend that kind of outside edge out and just doing your temples as well and up into your hairline and just keep blending as you go so you don't get any lines and in the middle of your forehead again I'm almost using the product dry because if you put too much on it's hard to take it away whereas if you have it dry you can build it up and just do exactly the same the other side. And you just want to contour a little bit around your nose as well, just so it doesn't look so clean. Alright, now around your eyes, depending on how light your eyebrows are, mine are pretty dark, so I'm going to take the whole of the brown up to my eyebrows so that I can blend them in a little bit more. I'm just sort of keeping it to the inside edge and underneath, just go around the whole eye. And just around the mouth, just kind of again, do a little bit around the chin, underneath the mouth, and down the sides here. Don't worry too much about keeping it neat, because again, zombies are kind of like mucky and messy anyway, so it really doesn't matter too much. And then we want to go in with the black. I'm just going to use the same brush because it's already had brown on it. And just in the inside socket here, blend this out to your eyebrows and underneath the eye and any other areas that you think might want to be a little bit darker so I'm going to go under the cheekbones a bit more it just adds that little bit more depth to it now again using the black just want to go on the inside of the lips so just brush it over we want them to look kind of decayed so keep it really irregular and messy looking. I 
And textures like this look wicked when they're kind of far away. And kind of just go over the whole face. Where the white is, because you don't want it to be too clean. So once you're happy with your kind of base, we're going to start making the infection areas. What you're going to need is a small brush with your white and kind of pick an area. So I'm going to go for around the mouth and sort of an area on the head here and we're going to just make some like little boils. So start by kind of marking out with the white where you want these boils to be. And again using it sort of dry, kind of mix the green and the brown so you get sort of a dirty colour and kind of go around the edge of the white. Again, keep it really random because the more random it is, the more realistic it looks. Then sort of taking um, the red and the brown and black, kind of mix together a bit of a sort of maroon colour, like this one. And go around the edges of the white. And move on to doing like veins coming out of it. So mix together the red and the black. So it's kind of a, a wash um, and then just literally just drag and wiggle your brush if you have them coming out from the actual infected areas it looks quite realistic the more kind of random and sporadic you have them the better really and then you can go over them a little bit darker just picking out some key veins then using the black and the brown mixed together, dark brown sort of colour. Just go around the edge of the boil again. Just making that a bit more prominent. And going back to your sort of brown and red. Just go under the eye. And you can sort of go kind of in the nostril too. You want to make some bits stronger than others. And with your kind of sponge here, you can even take bits and just sort of go over the top just to give a bit more texture really. So almost using it dry, just go over where you see kind of gaps of, of really white bits. Cool, so once you've got to a stage where you're kind of happy, now it's time to add the fake blood. Now I've put this into a spray bottle because it's really easy just to kind of aim and spray um, and it looks really, really effective. If you want to have areas that are sort of dripping and stuff, just get your paintbrush and dip it in and then just let it sort of drip down like that. Then think about areas that maybe blood would fall from, such as the nose, the mouth, the eyes, that sort of thing. And that's where you should sort of keep it too. Obviously if it's not eye blood, try not to get it in your actual eye. Obviously like round the infection is where you'd have bleeding as well. I'm also just going to now spray a little bit. And there you have it, the completed zombie makeup.